What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. So, I've made a lot of videos talking about just Pokemon and their place in the metagame, uh, but there is one Pokemon that I find to be extremely underrated right now. A lot of people have already picked up on why it's so good, but it hasn't picked up to the point where I think it's... Uh, in, in like a, a usage tier where I think it's like deserving of, you know. But yeah, uh, we're talking about Skeledurge today. If you guys enjoy this gameplay and time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And that's my comment question of the day. Do you think Skeledurge is underrated? Or you can even tell me what you think the actual most underrated Pokemon in the format is. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So why do I think Skeledurge is underrated? Well, going over what Skeledurge is, who it is, why it is, where it is, um, it is a ghost and fire type uh, that has 104 HP, 75 attack, 100 defense, 110 special attack, 75 special defense, and 66 speed. So this is actually like a pretty phenomenal stat spread, all things considered. 104 HP, 100 defense, 75 special defense actually sort of reminds me of Hippowdon. Because if we look at Hippowdon's uh, stat spread, it's 108 HP compared to our 104. It's got 118 defense compared to our 100, and it's got 72, uh, sorry, 72 special defense compared to our 75. It's like a less bulky Hippowdon, but with very similar moves. Um, it's also much more offensive than Hippo can be due to its um, move set that it gets, as long as well as it's like actually slightly better uh, offensive stat, where Hippowdon has 112 attack. Uh, Skeledurge has 110 special attack. So whenever I think about like damage versus Skeledurge, I always think about it like, okay, this is basically like a, a slightly less bulky Hippowdon. Uh, but one thing that it has over Hippowdon, uh, well, I guess they're like completely different other than like the stat spread, but like the thing that it has to make it more offensive is this uh, move called Torch Song. Torch Song is a 80 base power fire type attack, uh, special attack, that will always raise its special attack stat by one. It sort of reminds me of Volcarona's uh, Fiery Dance. Uh, Fiery Dance being already a very strong move to run on Volcarona, even though it only has a 50% chance to uh, raise the special attack stat. But because this is a sound-based move, uh, and it always raises by uh, one, it means that this is going to bypass substitutes, it's going to uh, just be like very, very reliable, and it also means you don't have to invest heavily into special attack. So, Skeletorge, finds a role in the metagame as a, an unaware Pokemon, meaning that it gets full, uh, it gets like full value out of its bulk in the fact that uh, it doesn't care about like Swords Dance Garchomp or it doesn't care about um, Body Press Garganical. Well, it's a ghost type, but if they like both Terra, then like Body Press Garganical, its iron defenses don't actually like mean anything versus Skeledurge. So that's like very, very good. And ironically, Skeledurge is actually a very solid answer to Dondozo, who is a Pokemon that raises all of its stats uh, by two stages. Uh, to deal damage and to, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, to mitigate the damage it receives. So, Skeldurge, the fact that it's this bulky and doesn't have to invest into special attack much to get all of its jobs done uh, is enough to put it in, like, a solid tier. But also, Skeldurge has a wide variety of movesets that it can run, uh, mainly because of the tools that it gets. It gets Slack Off, which is very, very reliable uh, recovery. There's only eight of them, but in eight in uh, in VGC, uh, that doesn't actually matter too much. Like you're only gonna click it like maybe twice a game at most. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is all, also like a very, very good move to have in this metagame. Since Intimidate isn't as reliable uh, as it was in previous generations due to the fact that we have stuff like Clear Amulet Garchomp running around, this means that Will-O-Wisp is very, very reliable for uh, removing um, the power that Garchomp has just like passively. So. Yeah, uh, and while you might think that like Skeldurge isn't a good answer to Garchomp, keep in mind it already is like a very decently physically defensive Pokemon that can easily take a Earthquake from it, but it's also well known for being a Terra Grass Pokemon. Terra Grass not only meaning that it's going to be immune to powder moves like Rage Powder or Sleep Powder or Spore, um, as well as resisting water moves, but it also resists the ground moves from Garchomp, meaning that Skeldurge gets to Terra Grass, take like no damage from Garchomp. Let me actually show you the calc on this one. Um, here, uh, Skele, Skeldurge, Terra Grass Bulk, throw in a Garchomp, uh, standard set. So, Earthquake from Garchomp is doing like 72% maximum to this guy, uh, normally. But if we Terra Grass, now it's doing less than 20%. And then, you know, if this Garchomp ends up taking a burn, what happens? Here, check this out. Status, burned. It's doing so little damage to you that you don't even care about like Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw does like almost nothing. Not to mention like even before you like Terra Grassed, 
um, even before the burn, Dragon Claw actually doesn't do that much damage to you. So like, let's make this healthy and like get rid of the Terrastal. Dragon Claw is doing like 30%. With the Citrus Berry set, that's like a four hit KO sometimes. Yeah, like that's like, it has a chance to be a four hit KO. Actually, I can click on it, can't I? I, I just realized that it's on screen. Listen, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I, I didn't realize it was staring at me in, in, in my face. Okay, the point is, it's very solid in a Garchomp, but it's solid into a lot of other things. If you don't know what this special attack investment for is for, it's to deal with other top threats, uh, specifically Meowskarana. Meowskarana has access to like knockoff, flower trick, all those like very high power moves. Um, but the thing is, if you like lead off with like a Goth, uh, a Gothitelle plus uh, Skeldurge, you just fake out and torch song the the masquerada and it's gone if it's a choice bandit set you like terra grass and get rid of it um but yeah like it's it's just like super super reliable other pokemon it deals with i said garganical like garganical is a pokemon that wants to set up its defenses um because skeledurge doesn't care about body press damage if it like terra grasses in front of it um then it's like going to be able to uh just absolutely steamroll garganical by torch songing torch songing clicking slack off torch song torch song slack off and then clicking uh, shadow ball and another thing that makes this thing weak to skeldurge is the fact that um a lot of garganical right now like to run terra grass which is very reliable for it so yeah like it's it's just like very good into this uh if we actually run like a dondozo calc let's run that dondozo calc real quick Dondozo. Uh, Spideff Terra Steel is a very popular one right now. This is like as special defensive as Dondozo can get. Let's give it that plus two and that plus two into attack. Keep in mind, this doesn't matter because guess what? We're unaware. The order up doesn't do anything. 17%. We're immune to body press. Guess what happens? Torch Song does, you know, 13%. You know, we, we get plus two after two Torch Songs. And oh wait, this is unaware Dondozo. Keep in mind, like, in unaware Dondozo matchups, you just like spam Shadow Ball. But if you know that they're, they're like not unaware, then like, you know, just any other ability. You just like, here, um, you just like start like Shadow Balling and then they just like take damage. They just can't do anything versus you because you have reliable recovery. So in like the 1v1, Skeldurge always beats Dozo, which is just so weird to say. Even if it has like Wave Crash, like let's look at Wave Crash sets. Obviously, you know, you would want to like Terra in the face of this, but Wave Crash doesn't even KO you in one hit, so you can just like exchange a Shadow Ball for that if you like don't have the tear option. That's quite good. Other popular Pokemon, it does decently well against Golden Go. You just get to plus one, uh, and then your uh, Shadow Ball will always one-shot that thing. Armor Rouge doesn't do anything to you. You Shadow Ball it. Annihilate. Like, it, it just, it can't do anything to Skeledurge. Like, it, it, keep in mind that Annihilate is a Pokemon that relies on getting Rage Fist boosts. So, in the face of Annihilate, what do you do? You burn it, and then you don't care. Yeah, it's just like super, super good. Mouse Hold, you actually hard beat Mouse Hold because it relies on normal moves, meaning it's a normal immunity. Rotom Wash, you can actually beat if you just Terra Grass. King Gambit, another like Terra Grass option if you even need it. Uh, Tyranitar, Terra Grass option. Point is, this thing is so splashable. I've already like used it on a few of my teams. Like I have one on this really dumb stick bug team, just ignore that. But also I'm using it on uh, the Dondozo team that I'm running right now. It's like just a very reliable Pokemon that I think that is extremely underrated. If we look at the usage stats for it, it has done pretty well in a few tournaments. We see it in top 16 for this um, tournament that took place uh, like a week ago. Yeah, like about one week ago in Taiwan. Um, only one of them though, but if we look at the Welcome to Paldea tour, it had a little bit more representation. Uh, we see one Skeledurge here at 17th, uh, two more here at 19th and 20th. But yeah, like it's it's very little more beyond that. Like there's a couple 40, 41. Uh, yeah, Joe here. Um, yeah, like it, I feel like the usage is nowhere near where it could be. Like think about it. Even in the face of like a Zoomeral, a Zoomeral can belly drum in front of this thing. And then Skeledurge just goes like, okay, yeah. And it like doesn't care about the stat boosts and it Will-O-Wisps and then it like slack offs and like beats it. It beats a Zoomeral 1v1. It's a fire type that beats a Zoomeral. I don't know. I love this Pokemon. It's very fun. I love them. But yeah, I just wanted to spread some uh, Skeledurge propaganda and explain why I think it is actually the single most underrated Pokemon in the format. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want me to talk about next. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things I can talk about in this metagame. We're right at the beginning. Let me know what you think. All right. Have a nice one. Bye.